Hello there folks, hey this is Joe Azur. Hey in this quick video we're going to use Modbus Pole as a slave on RS-45 to talk to a Redline DA-30 device uh, over Modbus 45 as well as a master. In this case I'm using this little uh, device from uh, I think it's called D-Tech or DSD Tech, something I got off Amazon. Uh, this little guy right here, it's a USB to 45 converter and uh, I'm using that. I'm also using for software here, let me go back here. If you just Google Modbus Save Simulator, you'll come across Modbus Tools. And if you click on that and then click on the Download tab, and if you go down, and I'm running the Modbus Slave Simulator here in this case. So the first thing I'm going to do is plug that uh, little device into my USB port. And so let me pull up my device manager, and let me turn it on here. Let me plug it in. And you can see here it shows up as COM number 9 under my ports. If I unplug it, it disappears, so there it is, and I'll plug it back in. Just verifying there it is COM number 9. Perfect. That's what I'm going to use. And then I'm going to fire up Modbus Pole here. So here's Modbus Pole. Comes up here. Uh, register later. Get 30 days. I think it's 100 bucks for this program or something, but for this case, I'll try it out. I'm going to go to the setup, slave definition, slave number 1. I'm going to be holding registers. Starts at 0. That's actually 40,001, and ours, no big deal. And I'll set it up for 10 registers. That's perfect. Make this a little bigger so you can see all 10. If I go to the connection part, uh, it says disconnect. I don't know if it's actually connected. Let me try it again here. Connect. Yeah. Okay. Well, it says it's connected here. We'll see if it works here in a second. All right. So I uh, got that done. Let me go back to Red Lion here. And I'll go over here to communications. I'm going to click on the RS-45 port. Hit the pick driver. I'm going to go down to Modbus for my driver here. Right here, and I'll pick Universal Master. Okay. 96, 8, 1, and none is the default setting here. I leave that the same. If I go over here, and let's call this uh, MB underscore slave underscore 1. I pick that name because here's the slave number. I'm going to leave everything else in here as default. So I'm not doing anything changes. All of this is the default setting. Oops, I just changed that by rolling over that. I think it's supposed to be 32, but anyway. So it's all the standard settings. Go over here to data tags. I'm gonna create a new tag, a new integer. I'm gonna call this tag H4K for the 40,000 registers, underscore number one. And that's gonna be 40,001. So I'm gonna hit the pull down here. I'll go down to that Modbus device, click on it. Everything we're going to do is in the top holding registers, not the L4. Those are the Enron version. 40,000, here's the first address. I'm going to leave it word as word because it's going to be an integer for this test. I'll click OK, and that's about it. Uh, I'll leave this default integer read-write. We'll go over here to Display Pages. This is the page I'm showing for demo. If I go over here, we'll go to the right side. We're going to drag that tag out here like this. We'll make this guy be a little bigger like this. I remember this shortcut, if you click somewhere else, you lose focus. And if you click on it, you can boom, 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 make it bigger, bold. And I'll, this button here does data entry. So let's try that out. Let me go ahead and save that. Let's download it. Let's see what happens here. All right, so I should have my web page up and running. Here's my web page. If I go to this page here, you can see right now it says zero. And the lights on that unit are blinking rather quickly. So if I go back to the Modbus pole, and let's move this over here, let's move this guy here so you can kind of see this. There we go. So if I double click on this, I can put in some numbers. There you see one, two, three. Or if I double click on this field, I can click this auto increment. This is super cool if you ask me. And you can see that it's auto increment here and here. Now, here's the other nine registers. Zero through nine is 10. If I wanted quickly to show those off, I'll go over here to Crimson. I'll go over here. I purposely named this underscore one because if I can take advantage of this smart duplicate button, boom. Well, I don't know why it's not smart duplicating. Isn't that weird? Wow. That's, that's amazing. Uh, huh. Let's, let's try this. Wow, that's fantastic. All right. Let me try another one. Let me do this. H4K. Stuff that happens when you're making a video. Map this to the next register. 
All right, let's try it again here. Click on this. There we go. So uh, if you watch, I'm making sure this number increments. Oh, you know what's interesting is I think that Teams app is open, and that's why you see that circle forming. I don't know why it's doing that. Oh, you know what's interesting, too? That just jumped a whole bunch, really. Let me go back. So there's, let me start over. There's number two. Let me click once. That's so interesting. Look at that. <laughs> anyway, let me go back over here. Put this other guy on here like this. And we'll just do right click. And we'll do uh, copy from all formatting this guy here. Boom. And we'll do same size as. Boom. There we go. I can also cheat. Let's just go ahead and download this real quick and see if it works. So back to here's our default. Okay. Oh, that's so interesting. Look at that. Why? Ah, look at that. See that 12? It showed up down there. Wow, what is uh, fascinating going on here? Oh, somehow or another, the smart duplicate changed the register number. Wow. Let's go. That's number one. This is number two. Everything's being so cooperative today. Let's download it again here. Okay. There it is. And now if I put in numbers here, boom. And I go back to my bus poll. There it is right there. So uh, I'm just quickly going to try one other thing since I'm making this quick video. And I was having that frustration with my smart duplicate. I'm going to try something else here. I'm going to create another new tag here. We'll just call this guy H4K underscore uh, all. And the reason I'm doing all is because I'm going to make this guy go to the first one, 40,001. But I'm going to make it be an array of 10 elements. So now this guy should show all 10. So if I go over here to display pages, go ahead and click over here on the right side. If you either click this button or you can right click and do toggle array. Now I can see all 10 elements. So I'll click on the first one, element zero, hold down the shift button, click on the last. I've highlighted them all. They're all highlighted. I'll drag out all these guys like this and I'll go ahead and make them a little bigger like that. And I'll right click. I'll do same size as one of these yahoos. Well, close enough. And I'll say copy from all formatting. One of these guys. Let's try this out. Boom. Go back to our browser. And of course, it's on the second page. So I get my button here. And there it is. Uh, well, I'll move this over a little more. Let me go through and make all these auto recommend. There we go. That's pretty sweet. Working like a champ. We'll leave that 12 there since I messed it up earlier. You can see they're all working just perfectly fine. Cranking right away here. Now one thing I'll tell you about Modbus Poll, it only works for 10 minutes and it shuts off. you got to close the whole app and refire it up. If you hit this button here, it'll show you all the communication traffic happening so forth. Uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. What else can I show you here? Uh, if I change this to 99, you can see a change right there, which is perfect. It's exactly what I wanted. Um, oh, and since it's being pulled right now, I don't have a way to do a video on here. But if I go to the their little website here and uh, show you the video, it's actually blinking just like that video. It sounds so loud. Let me turn that off. But it's blinking just like that in the video. That's exactly what it looks like on my desk right now just like that isn't that perfect anyway that's just a quick little video using that device and modbus poll to work with the red line units oh the one thing i will tell you uh i always uh, let me go back to the browser here yeah this little arrow here i usually team i literally i just take an ethernet cable whenever i'm doing rs45 comms and i literally cut off one end of the rs45 or of the ethernet cable and I use pins one and two, which is usually the orange white is pin one and the solid orange is pin two. And the orange white is your A plus and the solid orange is your B minus. And I literally have them just plugged into this right here. And on the red line unit, when this happens, 
you'll get red and green LEDs blinking real fast on the 45 port on the red line here. Anyway, that's just a quick video showing that working. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or you want to copy the database. Pretty cool little toy. Hey, thanks a lot, folks. See you later. Have a great day.